because the football's happening. So England versus Scotland is happening shortly. So it's sort of a build up to the game and I want to get on Cook and then, you know, so I don't have to worry about it. So is there a line on my screen? Um, it's weird, like my phone, I'm having a few issues, like not only connecting. I like the update, by the way, and I've not seemed to have an issue coming live today. So fingers crossed it's going to work. So, um, but there's not like, like a line on the screen. So anyway, I'm just going to get the ingredients out. So then we can make a start. And because it's Friday, because it's Friday, that's in, oh no, I can't have that one. I just realized, um, I might have another one up here somewhere. I'm just getting the ingredients ready. So we've got some sweet chili sauce. Let me just find the rest of the ingredients. Um, actually, oh no, I found it, I found it. I'm all right, guys. Because it's Friday, we're going to have one of these. This is my favourite drink, my favourite alcoholic beverage. Um, they come in different flavours. I don't know if you uh, can get them where you are, but they're actually made in, in Sweden, and it, they're called Koppenberg ciders. So when I'm not drinking coffee or anything like that, and I go to a bar, I do like lager, I do like cider. I'll drink anything. I mean, if those that have followed me many, many, many years ago, who've been following me since 2015, um, growing up through my 20s, you all realise I used to drink. I used to drink. I could drink anybody out of the room, you know, and I'd be the last one standing, dancing away on my own. So, um, <laughs> so cheers, everybody. We're going to have a drink, first of all. And then we're going to make a start with this dish. And I was going to come live yesterday and do this. Where's my... Uh... So, happy fr Friday, everybody. Happy Friday, Sarah. How are you doing? Yeah, did, you wouldn't have seen me on Periscope. I mean, I don't actually know who's come from Periscope and who hasn't, because there's loads of new people, which is great. But I don't know if some of you, you guys who actually did follow me on Periscope, you know, on Twitter before. And it's it's good. I think it's great because we feel like we've got everybody coming from all over, all over the virtual space. Uh, hello, Mary. Thank you for coming in. So we're going to have a drink, first of all. It's Friday. And I'm sure, yeah, you guys in America, I mean, I really, really I feel for you because your temperatures out there are over 100 degrees. I can't cope when it's 80 degrees. I'm like, I don't get me wrong. I love the heat, but it's I love the sunshine. I love the nice warmth. What I don't like is the humidity, and that's the worst thing. So, and sleeping as well. Like, I struggled last night sleeping when it was, it was only about 20 degrees at night because it got to about 27, 28 yesterday. Uh, sorry, not yesterday, the day before. Because inland it's warmer, on the coast it's cooler. Um, so, yeah, I do struggle. Are you going to the store right now? Oh, wait, where are you going, Sarah? Let me know in the chat. Where are you going? Um, so yeah, let's have a drink, everybody. You're gonna get some, gonna get some nice cold drinks. But alcohol does dehydrate you. I'll tell you what we should do whilst I'm here. We should play the game we played yesterday. Now, if you don't know, if you didn't watch the broadcast, I did healthy option yesterday. But we did uh, breakfast items and we did a few snack items. But there's not many left on this game on this quiz. So let me just go and grab my card and then we'll make a start. Okay, just while we have a drink. One second. So I don't want to bore you. I don't want to bore you. But we did this yesterday. So what we did was went through some items. So whilst I'm cooking, we're going to go through some food items. And I'm going to ask you what you would swap them for. OK, so we're going to do dinner because it is dinner time. We did lunch. That's right. Breakfast and lunch. That's what we did yesterday. Um, you should drink a glass of water before drinking alcohol. Exactly. Yes, I agree. I had my glass of water before, Sarah. <laughs> It looked like water, and I'm think I think it was water. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do then is I'm going to give you a food item throughout this broadcast, and you have to give me the option as to what you would swap it for to make it healthier, low in sugar, low in fat. Are we ready? Are we ready? So your first item then. So we did we did um, we did lunch yesterday. So the first one then is when it comes to dinner time. Um, I've got here one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so your first one is salt. So if a lot of dishes have salt in them, what would you swap salt for? What could you use instead of salt? Let me know in the chat. 
and I shall then get, reveal the answer, okay? This Koppenberg is a mixed fruit cider. It's absolutely delicious. I really, really like it. So, um, so sugar, Sarah's saying sugar, Mary's saying lemon juice, okay? Um, keep putting in the answers below, guys. Um, keep putting in the answers. Um, there's quite a few options here. We use quite a lot of these. And this is quite important because when we're making food, say when you're just making dinner and you're thinking, I don't want this, or I don't want that, or you want to make something really healthy, we use a lot of this. Okay, you, the answers are, uh, we were talking about it earlier on Alexis's broadcast, is seasonings. Seasonings. So what better way to actually talk about seasonings on the first one? Go and get taste buds, everybody, from Alexis, the Pampered Chef, queen of Pampered Chef. Go and get some of the seasonings because at some, I think it's going to be like the end of July. Alexis is going to do a lot of broadcasts with the seasonings. So it's not like, well, I've got all the seasonings. What do I make? She's going to show you the recipes to make with the seasonings. So go and buy your seasonings, whether you want to get one month, six months. I would go for six months. If you can't afford that and it's a little bit more expensive, you've got to remember seasonings will last you a long time. So... You know, she's going to show you live how to make the recipes for the seasonings. So, um, and I'm going to try and take part, but use some of my seasonings that I can get over here because I can't get taste buds. So, ah, so yeah, garlic or onion powder. Yes, you are correct, Sarah. You are correct now. Yep, seasoning your roast with pepper, garlic, and any herbs you like to keep your salt intake to a minimum. So, if you're worried about salt intake, even though seasonings do have a bit of salt in them, um, Alexis did mention that per meal, you use less than two grams of, sh of salt per seasoning. So don't have to worry about that. OK, your next one then. Traditional gravy. Traditional gravy. Now, this can be sort of gravy granules. It can be, you know, where you pour water, you can boil the gravy. It could be your own gravy from like the, your roasts, your turkey meats and things like that, um, or any other meats and you make your own gravy, what would you swap your gravy for instead to make it less fattening and less less calories? Let me know in the chat. I'm going to just start to set my workspace up. You tried the fake salt, but I didn't like it. Did it have any taste, though, Mary? Did it have any taste? Because, I mean, I don't know about that. fake salt. I mean, yeah, I suppose... I suppose, yeah, it's not the actual salt, but what was it, though? What what made it taste? Yeah, what was it, though? What Did you know what ingredients were in there? It burnt your tongue. Makes you wonder what was in it. It was like an acidy sort of thing, an acidy additive horribleness. Yeah, you've got to be really careful with what things you buy. Don't know. <laughs> OK. Um, so traditional gravy, then. So if you, if you want to have a healthy alternative, then traditional gravy, say you're doing a roast dinner, because these are all sort of British things for dinner, but it doesn't matter wherever you are in the world. Um, you want to be making gravy from your roast meat. Okay, so instead of traditional gravy, um, it says also yeah, skim the fat off the top before serving, and skimming one tablespoon of fat cuts 12 grams of fat and at least 100 calories. Wow. So, so, in, so instead of traditional gravy, Make gravy from your roast meal. Now, it depends on how much oil you put you use, though. So just be wary of that, because I know when I cook a roast, and I've done a lot of roasts, I put oil on my meat, and then I have a lot of oil left over from my like roast potatoes and things and vegetables, and I usually mix all that in together with some gravy granules. So uh, we, obviously, if you're making your own gravy, then... Anyway. anyway, your next one then. This is kind of if you if you're diabetic, you want to learn, you want to reduce your sugar content. Okay, um, so it's mainly for diabetics, but healthy options generally for anybody. Okay, your next one then is meat. Oh, a big one, a big one. Meat. We've only got three more left to go, just for dinner. Okay, so I don't think they've gone out to town with this, because. Um, the, the person who must have wrote this must like their roast dinners. That's all I'm saying. So what would you swap your meat for? So if you didn't, if you wanted something that's very meaty, what would you swap it for as a healthy alternative? 
what would you put in? What would you what would you swap it as as a healthy alternative? I should all say, guys, if you come on to watch the broadcast of me cooking, you might want to skip another ten minutes. But we shouldn't. I shouldn't take too long. So Sarah says ground turkey. Um. So yeah, here it says so. It says meat in general so any meat so turkey is a type of meat so you can't have turkey or chicken um i think you mean beef as in beef meat but just generally any meat the answer is corn okay <laughs> it's all right it's all right so corn is what you should be swapping uh meat for so if you if you're wanting a healthy alternative to meat then have corn uh, it says oh, here all roast meat substitutes, which are generally low in fat and calories. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so you can have um, turkey, any meat that is low in calories. I think turkey is the best. So yeah, turkey is the best, and it's a good job, isn't it? Because when we have Christmas dinners and we eat turkey, turkey is the best meat you can have, but everything else you add on top tends to have more calories. So. Okay, you got, we've got two more left before... Well, actually, I don't know where... Okay, I'm, ju I'm just going to read the last two. Okay, so duck fat roast potatoes. And I don't know many people that have duck fat roast potatoes anymore. So this must have been printed a long time ago. Um, if you're having duck... If you fancy or you're having duck roast... Sorry, duck fat roast potatoes, then what you should be swapping it for is rapeseed oil, which is good for roasts, or a low calorie cooking spray. Now, where Alexis uses her low fat cooking spray, or she uses a, she uses the um, the spray, you know, the spritzer thing. So, highly recommend buying one of them uh, if you're make if you do a lot of roast dinners and things, and you want to cut down on the amount of oil. Because if you're anything like me, I have my oil in one of these, and even though the the lid on the top, can you see that on the top? That actually does only take out a little bit of oil a spray is a lot better for you because then you know how much you're using but just be wary of your pans some dishes need oil and if you don't put enough oil in then your pans will get burnt okay especially if you're making yorkshire puddings like i do you need quite a lot of oil for yorkshire puddings otherwise they just won't rise um or they just go very very um soggy on the bottom okay and your final one then is meat. We've done meat, but lots of meat. It just says here, really, if you want lot, if you're a person that likes a lot of meat, or you eat a lot of meat, the best thing to swap is lots of vegetables. It sounds so common, but sometimes a lot of people still don't know what the healthy options are. So lots of meat, lots of vegetables. Uh, swap them for lots of vegetables. More colour and nutrition. But it also says steam your greens, such as broccoli and cabbage. We also learned yesterday you can steam mushrooms. I didn't know that. I didn't know you could steam mushrooms. I've always fried mushrooms. So um, another little tip there. So broccoli, cabbages, roast your root vegetables like parsnips and carrots. Now, with that, again, that, that is also dependent on how much oil you use because if you you know if you use quite a lot of oil in your on your vegetables it will get crispy very fast very quickly but you don't want um you don't want them to burn but you should really watch how much oil you're using so that's the dinner section okay we're not going to do the rest just yet so um let's get cracking shall we let's let's start our cooking cooking today so i'm going to turn you around I won't turn you around. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn you around, but I'm going to use my chopping board. The, uh, I'm going to put you where I used to put you before. We're going to try, try with the, uh, try with the chopping board. I should also say, so this recipe here, I have made this before. I love this recipe. It's just chicken with um, thyme, mixed herbs. We've got potatoes. We're going to make wedges. We've got, we've got some red onion, carrots, bell peppers. We've got some fresh parsley that I'm going to use as well. Look, this is the fresh parsley. So we're going to chop the fresh parsley and use this. This is going to, I think it's parsley anyway, or is it coriander? I'm not sure. Uh, I, think it, I think it might be parsley. 
uh, chicken breast, uh, mixed herbs, chicken stock powder, and fresh chili sauce. Which we're just going to use. In fact, I don't need chicken stock powder. But if you want to make a fresh chili sauce uh, or chili uh, glaze, chili glaze, that's when you use the chicken stock powder and chili jam. But instead, we're going to use this blue dragon original sweet chili sauce. So, are we ready then, guys? Are we ready to cook? Give me a reaction, like the broadcast. Let me just have a quick slurp of of uh, my cider. Oh, that is delicious. Okay, so let me get the ingredients out. That would that would help, wouldn't it? So, yeah, we're ready, Sarah. Good, good. So we've got some peppers here. Now it asks for. I'm going to just get a uh, red pepper out. So a nice red pepper here. Nice and shiny. Put that to one side. Let's get the um, red onion out. So let me know in the chat if you've had a nice day. Let me know what you've been doing today. Are you at the supermarket now, Sarah? The red onion. Okay. Uh, what else did I say I need? I need a carrot. So I've got a nice carrot. Uh, what else do I need? Mixed herbs, flat parsley, carrot, potatoes. So I need the potatoes. Do you, do you say potato or do you say potato? What do you say, potato or potato? In fact, yeah. <laughs> Um, if you send, I'm not going to do the llama, not yet anyway. If you did send a llama award, I might have to do it, but I don't think I'm going to do it just yet. Uh, just checking my potatoes. Yeah, so these are Jersey potatoes. Nice Jersey. I think they're all right. What day is it today? Oh no, they're not. They're not very nice. I've got another packet over here somewhere. Because it's been really warm. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, some of them are all right. Hello, Tossed Out. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. Welcome to my cooking broadcast. So we're doing thyme roast chicken tonight with roast veggies and a sweet chilli sauce. You say, <laughs> look, Sarah, that doesn't help me very much. It doesn't matter how you say it, potato, potato, or... Um, that, that's going to be my thing, isn't it? That's, there needs to be a potato award. So every time, every time I get a potato award... It's potato or potato, potato, potato. You say potato, I say potato. Do you say potato? I say tomato. Do you say pepper? I say pepper. <laughs> okay, enough of that. <laughs> okay, so let's make a start then. I'm going to spin you around. Okay, yeah, hopefully the connection doesn't go out. So, um, okay, remember to share the broadcast. Subscribe if you've not subscribed. Um, what else? Sponsor. You don't have to sponsor. That's not a, uh, a compulsory thing. But if you really, really like the broadcast, and I do come live to you most days, you can sponsor. But obviously, you don't have to do that or, or send awards. That I, the reason I say that is because it's a feature of the app. You're not compiled. You're not complied. Not what's the word I'm looking for? You're not. I've, I've completely forgotten my point. <laughs> Oh dear, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to spin you around. Hopefully, it's going to work. So let me know how the connection is. Oops, let me tighten my. Uh, I used my tripod in Scarborough this uh, this weekend. Oh, hey, that's a big carrot, isn't it? Oh, the carrot connection's gone out. Let me just one second. I should put you on the windowsill, shouldn't I? Like last time. There we go. It's a bit better. That's a big carrot. I loved your broadcast the other day when you went. Yeah, it was good, Sarah, wasn't it? I enjoyed myself there. It was the the one thing you didn't get to see me um, do was, was I did go back onto the beach and I sat on the beach for about an hour, but because I was charging my phone up with my battery power, my 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 uh, you know charger, I needed my phone um, to get on the bus because they have digital tickets, so it's an app on your phone. 
And if I didn't have that and I didn't have any battery power, I would have had to maybe go to a coffee shop. I could have gone to just gone to a coffee shop and charged it up. I probably should have. But when you're at the beach, you, you don't want to do that because when you're living in a city where you've got loads of coffee shops, the last thing you want to do at the beach is go into a coffee shop. So has it gone blurry? Are we back on now? Can you let me know if the connection's all right? So this is what we're making. Let's make a start. Okay, so we're going to preheat the oven first of all. So let's get the oven on. Okay, hopefully that's all right. So we're going to preheat the oven. We're going to chop some potatoes. So let's wash these potatoes as well. Oh, these have got roots going. I don't think I've got any other. Oh, they're not very good, are they? Let me check. I'm just wondering if I've got any other potatoes. Let me check the other ones. Are there any other ones? Have I just bin them? No. I don't know. I've done one at one second, everyone. <laughs> Sorry about this. I don't need many. Yeah, some of them have gone a bit funny. Because of the heat. These are the ones I was looking for, the ones that they've got in the fridge. So the other ones have been left out. Yeah, they're a bit rotten. Hello, Rick. Thanks for joining me live. <laughs> I wondered what had happened, but we will give these a quick... I don't need many. So we've got some nice Jersey Royal potatoes here. Let's get rid of the other ones. Because, yeah, the heat's caused, made them all horrible. Let's just quick, give these a quick clean. So let me know in the I also want to know let me know in the box below who's gonna win? Who's gonna win the football tonight? Is it gonna be England or is it gonna be Scotland? England or Scotland, let me know. I'm just gonna get a tray. today. Yeah, the Euro, it's the Euro 2020. Let me know the score. What do you think the score is going to be? Okay, so we're going to chop these up then. Let's chop these up. So it says here then, preheat the oven, chop the potatoes into two centimetre wide wedges. So... Nice and easy. Keep the skins on. I'm going to pop these on a tray. So we do this all the time. Really simple. Nice wedges. I love Jersey potatoes. Jersey roll potatoes. Can't even grab these. So remember to hold your knife just like this. Okay. So two centimetre wide wedges, let's pop these on, thank you so much for the award, thank you for the uh, the high five award, hi Alexis, how are you doing, I might invite you in shortly, <laughs> so we've just done the healthy choices for the dinners, so the dinner choices weren't the best though, mainly it's just you know, eat more vegetables, use less oil, you know, that's the tip for healthy choices when it comes to dinner time. But we might do the other ones in a minute as well. So we're just chopping the wedges up. So you want two centimetre wide wedges. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit of oil on these to get these. I should have done this before I come live. 
know how long these take. So here's our potato wedges, really simple. Let's put a little bit of salt on. And then a bit of, bit of pepper. And then we're going to put a little bit of oil on here as well. So not as much as I usually put on. There we go. So I'm going to pop these in the oven, okay? So, so these need to go into 30, 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, now we're going to half peel and chop the red onion. So we've got a nice red onion here. Okay, nice, nice root. Let's chop this, chop the ends off. Now I'm going to use... There is a way to cut the onion, isn't there? Uh, so once you take the skin off, shall I do it the professional way? Or shall, I'm just going to do it my way. This is how I do it. It's just, this is, you get used to the way you do it. You get used to doing it the way you do it after so long. Try and get one rid of the layer. Okay. So thank you all for the awards, everybody. Keep sending them. <laughs> no, you don't really have to keep sending. Although we do need we do need a thing like Blaine and Wilson, don't we? Where? What do you think should be our jingle? Or, you know, what would encourage you to send awards? What would you like to see? Let me know in the chat box. And be be nice. Be nice. When I say that, so I'm just going to get a my, my uh, little container. So this is the dicer I use, push it open, take the blade off. Now, yeah, these need to be chopped up like this. So I'm just going to chop this in half just to make it a little bit easier. Oops. And then I push this on and push this through. And then we've got our nice chopped onion, just like that. So are you going to do the shark? We don't have a shark award, Rick. We did the shark, though. We did it in Alexis's broadcast. Oops. We did the fish. I'll do the fish. If you send awards, I will do the fish. How about that? So keep sending awards. Check your coins. Send your coins. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to push this. Yeah, there we go. So here's our nicely chopped onion. I'm going to put this on a plate. Whoops. Are you ready then, guys? Here we go. So this is all the fresh onion. And it's so nicely chopped up. There's loads in there. So I get all that out. Okay, so that's all our nicely chopped fresh onion. I'm going to put that to one side. So next thing I'm going to do then is we're going to... Uh, oh, actually, I've done that wrong. <laughs> it says half peel and chop the onion into six wedges. So, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Thanks, Alexis. Thank you for the high five award. Okay. The fish is coming, guys. Keep sending awards. If we get to, oh, what should we say? $3. If we get to $3, I'm up to 40 cents. Actually, we'll start off a bit, a bit lower than that. $2. If we get to $2, I'll do the fish. How about that? There we go. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do next then is we're going to half and trim the carrot. So let's uh, chop the end of the carrot off, just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to quarter lengthways and chop into roughly five centimetre long battens. So chop it lengthways. Let's peel, take the skins off. Let's get my... Uh, peeler. So I'm just going to peel the skins off. Just like that. Just take the ends off like this. So this is one of my favourite dishes, I should say. It's chicken with uh, sweet chilli sauce is one of the best dishes you can, you can have. <laughs> What's that, Rick? Everything you... Every time you hit a multiple of two dollars, two, four, six, eight, you do a fish. All right, then I'll do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So, what are we starting at then? What should we start at? What do you think? 
That's a good idea, Rick. I like that one. The problem is that I'll have to keep moving the camera up and down. So I will do it as soon as I've finished prepping. Prepping? Yeah, prepping. Can I get all this off? Okay, so um, chop into six wedges, we've done that one. Quarter lengthways and chop into roughly five centimetres. Right? So let's cut this in length lengthways. And chop down the middle. Just like that. And then we're going to chop into roughly five centimetre long battens. I think that's five centimetres. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Could have been a bit smaller, but it doesn't matter. These are all going to go in the oven anyway. Uh, I make bottom of the carrot flat so it doesn't roll around. That's a good idea, Mary, yes. I should have done that before. <laughs> okay, so let's just chop. Yeah, there should have been a, a bit... I could do with another carrot, actually. What do we think? A bit more carrot? Put these on the plate. Mm, yeah, I'm going to do a bit more carrot, actually. I do like carrots. So, I'll chop the ends off, peel the, peel the skins off the carrot. Like this. So let me know what everyone's doing tonight, Friday, weekend, what, what's your plans this weekend? I'm, I was, well, I've been invited to go to the beach again on Sunday, but on the other side, but I'm, I've not had my second vaccine yet, so I'm waiting until I get my second vaccine before I do sort of plan trips further afield. So the reason I went to Scarborough yeah, on Wednesday was because it was midweek, so it's a bit quieter on the, you know, during the week. So, although it was quite busy, actually, I was surprised. I thought like kids... You know, school children were would have been off school, um, you know, still in school. So it would have been a bit quieter and families, but it was busy, wasn't it? So, okay, so I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to cut a bit more carrot up. Yeah, chop it like that. So it's nice and flat. You can either have it like that or cut up a little bit smaller. A bit more carrot. I love carrot. And then chop in half again, nice and flat. Is that is that better, Mary? <laughs> there we go. Nice long strips. So that's the carrot. Next thing we're going to do then, you're off to the pub. Oh, that sounds nice. What, 22 degrees? Oh, Rick, I'm jealous. I'll be there. It's, it's about that, actually, though, here. But it's, it's, it's gone cloudy and it's raining. So we're going to take our bell pepper, cut this, take the seeds out. Okay, chop this. These need to be in strips, so let's do it the old-fashioned way. I'm not going to use the dicer today for the peppers. Because these are great. I hope, Alexis, are you doing this with me? Because last time I made this dish, Alexis had actually made this at the same time. So if you've got any leftover vegetables, great time to do this is on a Friday because if you oh, the day before you go to the supermarket and you've got any if you've got any any like peppers, carrots, anything that's leftovers, this is a really great dish. You don't have to have it with meat, but you can have it with you know anything else. So here's the bell peppers, nicely chopped up. Do you not remove the seeds? Um, I remove the seeds, yep, I remove the seeds. Might be a few there on the plate, but... Mm. So nice. And then what we're going to do is take some parsley. I think this is parsley. So this is fresh parsley, guys. I'm actually chopping this from my parsley uh, plant as we speak. So this is grown. Stalks as well. Fresh. This is the freshest parsley you can gonna get ok 
at that, guys. Who loves fresh parsley? Let's use it all up. I'd rather use it up and have it fresh than, than use it when it's about to die. Although if that does happen, I think you can just put it in your fridge or you, free you could freeze it, I think. But just be careful, it might. Look how fresh that is. Look at that, everyone. Fresh parsley. You can see that very well. So we're just going to chop this up. Mm. Oh yeah, this is nice. Actually, have a proper knife. Get the other knife out that does the, the chopping. I think it's this one. Yeah. Whoops. I think that happened last time, you know. So just chop your parsley up. guys you need to make some lunch but i was thinking hamburger and french fries and pickled red onions oh alexis that sounds good i'm coming round. i'm on my way so we're just chopping this up it's crazy to think that i've grown this myself So I'm happy with that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put chick the chicken into a bowl with a glug of oil and half the dried thyme. Half oh, with this video, so we need some mixed herbs. So if you've got some thyme, use thyme. This is going to be um, this is mixed herbs that I'm going to be adding to this. So we're going to get a little bowl. Just move this to one side. I'll put this on the plate. And I'll show you in a moment everything on the plate that we've just done. Don't waste any. Okay, I'm just going to show you everything I've chopped up so far. So that's everything I've chopped up so far. We've got the carrots, we've got the bell peppers, we've got the onions, and we've got the parsley on the side. Okay, so what we're going to do next then is we're going to take our chicken. So we're going to be using two pieces of chicken here. These are quite big pieces of chicken, so we're going to pop that into a bowl. Just like that, to so wash the hands. <coughs> okay. And what we're going to do is season with salt and pepper. So that's the salt. That's the pepper. And we're going to add some dried thyme or mixed herbs. So I'll put some mixed herbs on here. This is where the seasonings will come in handy. So. If you're making, this would be a great recipe to use the uh, seasonings on the chicken. There was quite a lot there. But... And then we're going to use some oil. It says use some oil. And we're going to add, uh, yeah, so add some oil now to this. And just like that. And we're going to get a spoon and we're just going to mix all this, mix it all in. Just make sure everything's covered in the seasoning. Probably add a bit more seasoning on the other side. What do we think, everyone? Thank you for subscribing, Carl. Remember, you can send awards if you like the broadcast. Okay, so we've got our seasonings in there, salt and pepper. Uh, I do have some of the other, you know, the seasonings I showed you earlier. That would be great for this. But I'm just going off the recipe. 
Okay, so I use the mixed herbs instead of the Italian seasoning. That would have been a really good idea to use this. Okay, and what we're going to do is pop the red onion, carrots and pepper on a baking tray. Well, I'm going to actually be using um, Just checking there they yeah. Um, I'm gonna be using a, a dish, a baking dish. Because we transfer it anyway back onto the tray with the potatoes or put the potatoes into the tray. So pop the red onion. Red onion, so in here. We're gonna add the peppers and the carrots. So let's get all this in. Just like this, it's like a tray bake. I'll get all this in. I think it's better to go on a tray because it just cooks a bit even. It cooks more evenly. And then sprinkle on some thyme. Put some, put some mixed herbs on there. Oh, no, I've run out. Um, and add some oil. like that might be a lot of oil there um, and some salt and pepper so this will need um, turning over just like that so mix that up let's get a spoon mix all this in You can't see that very well. There we go. What do we all think? And then this is going to go in the oven now for 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to pop that on a top shelf. Or put it on, into the oven. To cook. Okay. But we will give that a stir, okay? So I'm just going to bring the camera up. So, okay. So what am I doing then? Am I doing the shark? Or am I doing the fish? Let's do the fish this is just for those that sent the award okay so are you ready <laughs> oh dear you're gonna get me fired <laughs> All right, there you go, there's the fish. <laughs> All right then, let's go into the next step. So we're gonna fry the chicken next. Oh, I know Alexis. We're gonna fry the chicken. So we're gonna heat a pan. I'm gonna use my big pans. Or do I use it? No, let's use the frying pan. I'm not gonna use the big pans today. So I'm just gonna get a frying pan out. Frying pan. I've got it here. Let's try and make some space. It won't be a second. Oops, falling off everywhere. Oh, I just don't have a lot of space, you see. So I've got to move things out of the way. All right then. So, so this is the, the frying pan. Let's get this heated up. Move the scissors. Hey Sarah, oh you missed the fish. You missed the fish. You'll have to come back and watch. You have to watch on the replay. Okay. Let me know how the connection is. There we go. It's all right. So what we're going to do then? We don't do any oil. We're going to heat a frying pan on high heat and lay the chicken breast and cook until broth, till brown on both sides, two to three minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but remember, I will do the fish again. I will do the fish again if we get to eighty dollars. Not eighty dollars. That would be quite a lot, wouldn't it? Um, if we get to eighty cents, I will do the fish again. So every time the every time the amount on the screen doubles. So I'm currently at forty cents. If when we get to eighty cents, I will do the fish again. If it gets to one sixty, I will do the fish again. If it goes to three sixty, I will do the fish again, and so on. So that's a really great suggestion by Rick. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Dina. How are you doing? 
So yeah, every time the, the amount doubles and we reach the double, I will do the fish. Okay. <laughs> so Alexis, you, you can do the same as well on your broadcast. Hello, Dina. How are you doing? Okay. It's getting nice and hot. I just want it a bit hotter. Okay. You're wearing the new jumper. It looks good. Yeah, do you like it? Do you like this new jumper? I should just, yeah. <laughs> I wore it to Scarborough um, in the morning and I took it off because it got really hot. And um, yeah, <clears throat> it's nice. It's nice and warm. Very cosy. Have I put the right one on? Let me just check. Yep. Okay, so let's get this chicken on then. So these are the two chi two chicken pieces. Are you ready? In the one, first one goes, and there's the second one. Let me test that. There. So can you all see that? All right, guys. So it says here, heat the frying pan high heat. Yep, yeah. lay in the chicken breast, cook until brown on both sides. Once brown, transfer the bacon tray on top of the veggies, or we're going to put it on a separate tray, and then it can go into um, it'll go into the oven. Cheers, everybody! Happy Friday! Happy Friday! It's just started raining again. Let's hope we don't get as much rain as what we did last last month. I think we had, I think we must have had about six months of rain in a, in a month. And then we got that really hot spell of weather. So it's taking a while to cook. Pan needs to get warmer quick, quicker. Oh, the connection's poor, is it? Oh no. There we go, leave it at that. That's the tidy up, everyone. It's taking a while, isn't it? To heat up. Hi, Monica, how are you doing? Thanks for coming. How's the connection? Hola, que tal? Como estas? Como estas Te gusta mi pollo? Okay, it's starting to fry now. So, yeah, it says two to three minutes on each side. I think it's going to take a little bit longer than that. <laughs> but I will get a baking tray out so I can put the chicken on so it's ready then to go into the oven. Probably transfer actually, that's not the best pan. Oh, what's going on here? Give me a second, everyone. Oh, this smells nice. See, it me gusta. You like it? How oh, good? Me gusta. Me gusta. Voy a comer mi pollo con patatas fritas y chili sauce. <laughs> I don't know the word for that. So, Monica, como te llamas? Uh, no, como te llamas? Um, como se dice? Chili sauce in Espanol. Como se dice? Mm. This smells really nice. So I've got my baking tray ready to put the chicken on. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to probably empty the tray of the veggies and put them on the same baking tray because it'll cook quicker. So but let's do that now. Because I don't have a lot of space. I should have put them in. Here's 
the veggies, everyone. I'm going to put them on the baking tray instead, which I should have done before. That's very hot. Put on a baking tray instead. Oh, well, this smells really good. So we're going to turn this over in about two minutes. Oh, I've got two comments coming through. Is it sal? Oh, of course it is. Yes, yeah, salsa de chili. <laughs> I thought it was that, and I thought. Am I trying too hard in trying to get the correct name? Okay, let me get my tongs. Nice and crispy underneath. Yeah, a little bit longer. Well, let's, let's turn it over now. Actually, well, this is going into the oven anyway. So, who likes chicken? Who loves chicken? Mm, that smells good. Now, normally you would make a glaze, but we're not going to be making the glaze, as I say. I do have the chilli sauce. But if you wanted to make the glaze, you would need um, chicken stock powder. You would also need 100 millilitres of water. Um, you would add that to the chicken frying pan, bring it to a boil, and then add some chilli jam, and then add salt and pepper. So if you wanted to make your own chilli sauce, that's how you would do it. So. Now this is going to take a while to cook, so once the chicken goes in, I think I might end the broadcast, um, but I will post up a picture on uh, my Instagram. They're massive, aren't they? <laughs> Unless it's just the pan. The pan might just look small. Yeah, they're quite big pieces of chicken. So has anybody got any questions at all about this dish? Or Don't forget you can get discounts for HelloFresh as well, I should say. Or, or, or every plate, if you want to try and have every plate. Um, I put every plate, Alexis's link, on my uh, um, profile link tree. So if you want to try every plate, or try one of these subscription boxes, you get $20 off for every plate. $20 off for... No, 20, uh, $40 off for HelloFresh, but it's more expensive. So definitely give it a try. And if you're in the UK, you can get £20 off. No, sorry, £23 off. So, how are we doing for time? Yeah, I think once the chicken goes in the oven, it, it literally just comes together on the plate. And um, so you've got the potato wedges, the chicken, the carrots, the peppers, the onions, and then the chilli sauce on the top and it is such it's such an amazing dish because i've made this before you see so i'll post it on instagram so you can see a picture so make sure you follow me on instagram everyone in fact i'll post it on here i'll post it on here right let's turn this back over get the other side i'm just going to uh, turn these up back over Sometimes it's good to just do when I like a tester. Mm -hmm. right. 
taste there, for example. Two more minutes and then I'm going to pop them into the uh, oven, okay? Hi Jay, how are you doing? I cannot hear you so well. Oh, sorry. Oh, the connection gone off again, is it? How's that? Is that any better? So I'm just going to give that two more minutes. I'll put this in the oven now actually. So these are going to go in the oven. This is our roasted carrots, peppers and onions. So I'm going to pop the chicken onto this tray. Just like that. And then these are going to, oops, falling off. And then it's just going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes, okay? So into the oven it goes. And we've got some potato wedges in there as well. I'm just going to fry off this chicken because I want to fry some. Oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. Let me lift the camera up. Okay, so what we're up to, we're up to 40, we've already done the fish. If you double, if you send awards and it gets to 80, I will do the fish again. But <laughs> um, only until we get to $80, okay? So every time the amount doubles on my screen, I will do the fish. We've already done it once at $40, uh, so we did it at $20. Uh, so we did it at 40 So it has to double before I do the fish again. <laughs> oh, this smells good, everyone. Okay, so um, as I say, if you want to make the glaze, you can do. I've mentioned that. Um, I'm just waiting for this chicken to cook, and then we'll taste the chicken, um, and then I will post a picture on here, so of the dish. So I'm not going to stay on because it takes another. This is probably the longest dish that I ever make with Hello Fresh. Even though it says it only takes 40 minutes, it doesn't take 40 minutes because you have to prepare the chips. You have to prepare the bell peppers and everything else. So, oh, this looks good. So, Jay, let me know what is the um, oh, sweet chili sauce. Here it is. Shake it up. So this is the original sweet chilli sauce. It's got water, red chilli, sugar, glucose, garlic, pickled garlic. So, but if you want to make your own, chilli jam, chicken stock, 100ml of water, and salt and pepper. If you want to make your own chilli glaze. But I'm going to pop in this on instead, sweet chilli sauce. These little pieces of chicken are looking great. And do we think, look at this everyone. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. Mm. So has anybody got any questions at all? Any questions at all? Don't forget as well guys to get your taste buds. So you can order taste buds through Alexis, Pampered Chef. And at the end of July, she's going to be showing everybody who orders the taste buds the recipes to make the meals. So you need to, you, well, you don't, you don't need them. Well, you do actually need them. I think you do need them to make the meals because uh, Alexis will show you how to make them. Okay. What does the hoodie say? It says, uh, oh no, can you read it? And shop on the shared awards, yes, yeah, so you get discounts. So, 
Post up your link, Alexa, so people can click onto it. Right, let's have a little taste of this chicken that I've just cooked off because that looks, looks delicious. Oh, let it cool down a bit. What do you think? Oh, give it. So this is like a very, very miniature version of what I'm making. I'm going to put a little bit of chilli sauce on here and I'll show you the... It's very hot. I'm going to show you a very, very small miniature version. Look at this. Ooh, a little bit of chilli sauce on there. But this will, the main dish will have peppers, onions, wedges. Oh, we've also got the parsley as well. So I'll put a little bit of parsley on. Look at this. This is like this is like fine dining, but miniature the miniature version. Look at that. Oh. Little pieces, mini 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 chicken bites with parsley, chili sauce. Yeah, very posh. So should we have a little taste? Let's have a little taste. And I'll post up the picture of it is a bit, isn't it, Mary? <laughs> so that's a little taste. Look at this. Oh. Mm. Oh, Chris, you would have to do it just as I'm about to eat. So if you just come into the broadcast and you're not fully aware, is when the amount doubled on the screen, I have to do the fish. So we've doubled it. So here it comes. Are you ready? This is, a, this is as a result of Alexis, by the way. Can't believe I'm doing this again. But if you want to see it again, you have to keep sending the... Um, Sending coins. Are you ready? Would have to have a mouthful, wouldn't I? Are you ready? There you go. <laughs> that was as a result of Chris. This is could this could am I kissing me? No. We're doing the fish, Mary. We're doing the fish. I think that was the fish. <laughs> so every time you send coins now, I have to do the fish. So Alexis, you're doing it as well. It was originally your idea. So I think it's going to be the fish. But the addition is now that every time the amount doubles, you get you have to do that. You didn't realise that was going to happen. All right. Well, you know now. Well, that that could actually be a deterrence. People might say, "Well, don't do the fish, please," and then I won't send you any coins. Well, people might say, well, I'll send you coins, but don't do the fish. <laughs> so, anyway, let's have a little taste of this. There we go. This is delicious. Look at this. Oh, my word. You lucky guy, says Chris. Well, Dre, <laughs> we're only 90, 9, 900 coins away from the next one. I should say it refreshes every every broadcast, okay? <laughs> so, so on here we've got a little bit of chicken, the thyme, parsley, and the chili sauce. Hmm, this could be a dish in itself. Sweet chili chicken with rice. This would be gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Bearing in mind, I've still got a big piece of chicken still in the oven to eat with the uh, peppers, the onions, and everything else. Hmm. What do we think? Hey, Peter, how are you doing? So we're doing a challenge, Peter, okay? So you send awards, or you send coins. We're doing the fish challenge, or whatever you want to call it, the fish. We do the fish when we double the amount of um, on the screen. So currently, I got to 40 and did the fish. We double it to 80 cents. You do the fish again 160 if it gets to 160 you're only 70 700 coins away from me doing the fish challenge from doing the fish again on the screen so if you want to see the fish on the screen get the get seven 700 coins and i will do the fish again for you this is this could be very interesting <laughs> and so oh please don't now you got you're all going to make me do it again aren't you that's the problem. <laughs> okay, and the thing is, when I've got food in my mouth, yes, maybe we'll have to cook salmon or something and do the salmon. Well, how do you do the salmon? Okay, this is the salmon. 
Oh, that's a penguin, though, isn't it? Maybe we should do a penguin or something. <laughs> that was a free one there. There you go. So let's have a little taste. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, Jay. <laughs> oh, God. There we go then. Was that for doing the salmon or was that for that doing the fish? Okay, just for you, Jay. Just for you. We did get, we're, we're 20, 20 cents short, but just for you, Jay. Here's the fish. Are you ready? So he says, a grown person. Oh, I know. <laughs> so cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh, that is gorgeous. Right, I'm going to end the broadcast. I'm trying not to talk my mouth on. Catch me on the next broadcast. I shall see you probably on Monday for the quiz. I'll post a picture of the dish. Oh, it's raining again outside. So I shall see you on Monday with the quiz. And then we'll do another recipe on Monday. I'm not sure what I'm making yet. Uh, what would you like me to cook? Let me know in the chat. Let me know on the replay what you would like me to cook. Um, oh, it's awesome, Jay, isn't it? We'll come, be coming live again as well. Uh, it was really, really nice to chat to Alexis earlier today. So, um, so please do the fish challenge and <laughs> I shall see you on Monday. So have a good weekend, everybody. I'll post a picture up. And uh, I'll see you then. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Love to you all.